Three men are facing gun charges tonight after an investigation into the mass shooting during the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Kansas City says 22-year-old Fado Manning is facing 12 charges. 21-year-old Ronald Williams Jr. and 19-year-old Shylin Groves are both facing four charges. Our ABC 17's Mitch Kaminsky joins us live in studio tonight. Mitch, Manning allegedly purchased dozens of guns, 15 of which were recovered by law enforcement in the hands of different people. Megan, the gun recovered from the scene of the mass shooting at Union Station is one of seven guns originally purchased by Manning that have been recovered during criminal investigations. Another gun that Manning allegedly purchased was found during a Columbia murder investigation in this wooded area that you can see beside me. Last June, Columbia police responded to a drive-by shooting on Dove Drive that left 33-year-old Deshaun Houston dead outside his home. Four people were arrested for the shooting. However, police say three suspects are still on the run. CPD recovered a gun in a wooded area near the 3800 block of West Gibbs Road in Columbia as part of the murder investigation. Court documents say Fido Manning had bought the gun at a Kansas City pawn shop a month earlier. Manning allegedly lied on a form that he was the actual buyer of the gun. The Department of Justice is accusing Manning of being a straw purchaser. A Wednesday release says federal investigators trace Manning's purchase of 40 guns over a nine-month period with the intent to resell them. The release says an informant bought 27 guns from two of Manning's family members and their co-conspirators. The informant was a felon, which means he was not allowed to own a gun. Authorities claim another one of Miller's guns held a bullet that killed Lisa Lopez Galvin at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl rally. Court documents say 12 people pulled out their guns and at least six people fired weapons at the rally. According to police, the people injured ranged in age from 8 to 47. Prosecutors say Manning and Williams also bought gun parts known as frames that can be built into a complete weapon by adding other, sometimes non-regulated, components. Mitch, thank you. Court documents say Williams' history of purchasing the same type of gun repeatedly was one of the things that tipped them off in the investigation.